it's Lyra. It's been a while, but I'm here now. But before we get to the video, I would like to invite you guys to donate for the benefit of the less fortunate communities that are affected by the lockdown here in Puerto Princesa City. If you donate, you will get a free painting from me by me. So if you want to know more, just click the link in the description box below. Uh, throughout this quarantine, I have been painting a lot and making arts and crafts, uh, mostly to help with the relief efforts um, for those affected by the lockdown. And throughout all this, I have just been in like ratty old house clothes and um, I kind of felt like I missed dressing up. So I asked my friends on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook which celebrities or fictional characters they would like to see me dressed up as while only using the things that are available in my closet. So I divided these um, suggestions into fiction and nonfiction. We are going to tackle nine fictional characters in this video. We shall begin with Cher Horowitz from the movie Clueless. I really love her preppy wardrobe, especially like I think it's still wearable 25 years after the movie was released. And by the way, I apologize in advance for all the unenthused faces that I will be making throughout the, this video. Um, it's really just so hot out here. Anyway, I don't have a normal pencil skirt, so I decided to just tuck this skirt's bottom part away from view. And then I added a curl headband to complete this look. Next up is Elle Woods from Legally Blonde. I haven't rewatched this movie in a while, so I had to look up her outfits that were in pink suits or Playboy bunny costumes, and I landed with this poolside look. I also got a request to do Sharpay Evans, but due to my pink clothing shortage, I had to pick just one character. Um, you've probably seen me in this jacket in my Vietnam OOTD video, but if you haven't, go check that one out. Third on the list is Madeline. She's one of my childhood favorite characters. Um, I never thought I couldn't quite copy her look considering it's quite simple because um, one, I don't have a blouse with a bigger collar to use. Uh, number two, I do not have a non-denim A-line dress with short sleeves. Three, uh, this hat used to have a black ribbon but I had already removed it because I felt like it would be able to match more things in my closet without it and number four i don't have white gloves and white high socks so that's why all the shots for this look are just showing the top two-thirds of my body now we proceed to the march sisters from little women I actually haven't seen this movie adaptation and I'm really sad about that because my fave Saoirse Ronan is top billing. Um, anyway, I decided to cop one of Saoirse's looks since it's the most attainable for my closet. I don't have a cream colored jacket for this look so I just went with this top and then I cinched it with a belt. I'm really lucky that I have this basket because I think it adds a nice touch, um, but what do you guys think? And here comes Scarlett O'Hara from the movie Gone with Wind. Disappointingly, another movie I have never seen and this video makes me more of an uncultured swine as it progresses and I'm really sorry. Anyway, based on what I saw online, she wears a lot of big poofy dresses and skirts and she wears all of these really detailed collars and sleeves. So this skirt is the biggest skirt I have and this blouse is the fanciest neckline detail there is in my closet. So here you go. I also got a Cinderella suggestion, but I found that this exact look could also be Cinderella if I put on the right accessories. So again, I just had to pick one character.
This one was the first suggestion I got, Kim Possible, another childhood favorite of mine. This is actually the easiest one for me to do since I've already done a similar look a few months back. And apologies for not doing the crop top part because I'm wearing a tube underneath to prevent every item from getting sweaty throughout this video and to make this getting dressed clip more family friendly. I decided to put hair ties on the bottom to give the hem a cinched look and I thought it would make the look more spy appropriate I guess. I combed my bangs away because Kim Possible does not have bangs. Roll in Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl, yet again another show I've never seen. Although I have been seeing Blair and Serena in a lot of memes lately, so I guess that makes up for it. <laughs> Kidding. Um, I see a lot of her school uniform looks online and knew instantly that I do not have the white top for that look. So I kept poking around the internet for other looks she does and saw that she wears a lot of yellow. Or so I thought based on what Google shows me. Anyway, she always pairs a plain top with a loud printed skirt, so here you go. Here is Chanel Overlin from Scream Queens, and you've probably guessed based on my uncertainty of how to say her name that I've never watched the show. Um, I've seen a lot of photos of their wardrobe online and I really enjoyed looking at them, but because this show is labeled horror comedy and I cannot stand the sight of blood anywhere, I know I'm never watching it. I'm kind of disappointed that I don't have the top with a ribbon on its collar, but I'm glad I have this wrap blouse to make up for it. I did a polished hairdo for this look because um, that's what I saw on the reference photo and most of the photos I see of her, she has like a very polished hairdo. Um, I also added some pearl earrings because I think it fits the vibe. And last but not least is Yoon Seri from the latest hit K-drama series, Crash Landing on You. I've only seen two episodes of this show when I was in Manila and that was it because I don't have Netflix access here in Palawan. But I really love Seri's style and how production actually went for designer pieces to make this whole show more believable. So I'm very lucky I got myself some tweed pieces recently mainly because I wanted to look put together without having to think much about how to style my clothes. These layers are obviously made for Korean weather so I'm sweaty like a baby bird at this point.
And that concludes my video copying uh, outfits of fictional characters. I'm really sorry that I don't have a vast knowledge on these characters because I am not really into watching um, movies or TV series. Um, I'm more into the reading, painting kind of person uh, to pass the time. Uh, but if you have movie suggestions or series suggestions, just put it in the comment section below. Um, I'm mostly into um, mystery thriller for movies or like um, romantic comedies. Um, and for the TV series, I'm mostly into sitcoms similar to Modern Family or Community. Um, I also like Fresh Off the Boat. Uh, but please don't suggest any horror stuff because I'm definitely not watching that. Uh, so I shall see you guys in my next video where I will dress up as nine ce different celebrities and stay safe, wash your hands, and stay at home as much as possible. Bye!